your astrological tarot reading with channeled messages for the month of April. Let's go ahead and get right into it. I want to say I'm starting off with Leo and I, it's like outfit change from the other astrological signs. And I'm like, I decided, I knew I was starting with Leo. I'm like wearing this leather jacket. I am letting you know, I just feel the energy of you being a rebel Leo. So this month of April, I do not want you to dim your light for anybody. So let's go ahead and let's get right into it. I have chosen this really awesome tarot deck and first card that's out is the card of temperaments. Sorry, let me get this focused a little bit. Uh, let me see. How do I get it to focus? Sorry. There it is. <laughs> Look, it's like the message is in the card. Be patient, dear Leo, for this month of April. And I know that you probably feel like you have been trying to balance everything out. You have one foot in the water, one foot in the land. Hello, beautiful, gorgeous souls that are joining me right now. See how this angel has one foot in like the water and the other foot in on land. I mean, it's really about you figuring out how to balance your energy while going through. I mean, I'm just going to say, I feel like for Leo's this month, you guys are going through a lot of transformation, but the good news is look at this. We have that queen of pentacles energy. Okay. Sorry. I'm still trying to figure out how do I get the camera to focus? Okay. Look at, there we are. The message here is that you are ready to actually claim your worth. You are ready to claim your worth. You are ready to bring in greater abundance and you're ready to transform your life. Leo, I know you're ready to transform. I know you're ready to level up. And I think you're actually awakening to new ways that you can bring financial abundance into your life. And Elsa, I just want to say, she's like so glammed out. Okay. She's wearing a floral wreath. She's got like her, she's got her clothes on. So Leo, I also just want to say the message that's coming through for you right now is that you need to take time to say, I'm going to put on like my, I'm going to put my best face forward. I'm going to shift my energy inside and out. And I'm ready to just claim that abundance in my life. And maybe you've been working on that for the start of this year. So I've been telling everybody, you know, if you've been having a tower energy that has been going through your life. Okay. Sorry. I cannot figure out how to get the, how do I get this to, how do I get this to focus? I don't know how to get it to focus, but you get the idea. Things have been coming down in your life. I want you to know you're not the only astrological sign that is dealing with this major arcana energy. Look right there without even thinking about it. I got it to focus. <laughs> okay. This is what 2023 is all about. It is bringing down institutions that no longer literally serve your life, whether it's, it's Leo's being in the public advocating greater social economic justice, whether it is a Leo that is just working on saying, I refuse to stop getting paid it, like so little for the amount of work I bring to this team. I want you to understand this tower moment that might be happening in your life where it just feels like a lot of things are transforming. And right now this feels like it's very focused on finances and career for you this month. You are just ready to like, to say, I'm done with doing things the old way. And what I'm really ready and what I'm really here for is saying that I am ready to, to let the old paradigm go in my life. And I'm ready to just step back into that, that queen of pentacles energy. Okay. I don't know. There's a focus. <laughs> I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Like, you know, that's, that's what you're going to do this month too. So be patient going back to that very first card. You need to focus on being patient because there's brand new, there's other ideas that are getting ready to come to you. Okay. You have all this style right now. Okay. You have the style, you have the energy, you have the moves to say, I am going to accept finances coming back into my life without me having to, I mean, like, you mean, just, you know, break your back in order to get paid. I think you are going to reclaim, okay, the 
law of attraction and you are starting to attract greater abundance into your life. So I love this for you. I know that things have been really crazy and maybe it's hard for you to believe that your financial life is getting ready to make such a phenomenal choice in your life. But I want you to understand everything's getting ready to change. Things are coming down. You're letting the old way of living go and you're ready to just step into being the amazing individual that is that is recognized for your worth. Let me keep going. Yeah. Four of Cups is the card of wanting to actually rest and take a break. Ah, uh, and hold on. Sorry. Sorry. Four of Cups. I was thinking Four of Swords. It's interesting. I just want you to know that I feel like you're springing to action. So if you've been in, been in an energy of inertia, I have to say you are getting ready to say, unlike this woman here, that is just so overwhelmed with all of the negativity that has been playing out in your life. Okay. Universe is like, Hey man, remember these situations in which you feel like you're not having the breakthrough experience that you want is limited. It will not be this way forever. So be patient because the universe is getting ready to make significant financial pivots in your life. And also I, I want to say that you need to understand how to make the pivot within first, within you first, right? So like, for example, like I, I want you to find ways to be able to really say that I am, um, yay. And thanks for people who are hanging with me right now, live in the chat. I just want to say, keep balancing your energy, keep showing up, keep being like every card I keep pulling out is literally a pentacle card. What's going on here? Okay. Oh, look at the King of Swords. Yeah. It's all about you having this mental breakthrough. Okay. It's all about you having a mental breakthrough. King of Swords energy. You're ready to have the mental breakthrough. You're ready to go through deeper transformation and you're ready to claim abundance in your life. So love that for you. Um, I like, I'm going to end it right there. Yeah. Look at, I look at the bottom of the deck. It's literally Knight of Pentacles. I swear to you. When I open this up, look at, I have, I split the deck, four of swords reversed. This is the card I thought I read for you just a moment before, which is about you needing to spring to action. So um, I just want to say it's time for you to put your best outfit on and stretch for the bigger financial dreams that you have. Put yourself out there. New projects are headed your way for the month of April. So for Leos, I think that you are really focused on a financial, like, I think there's going to be some kind of financial breakthrough. Oh, wow. Crazy. So I didn't even have a chance. I love this deck. It's very spring orientated. Sorry. There it is. The goat in the willow. And if you see in the very small writing there at the bottom, okay, you are overcoming obstacles in your life. We have the tarot card. Now we have the Oracle card, which also lets me know that you are overcoming obstacles. I'm going to refine the meaning of that Oracle with just a couple more cards. This is so good. Oh, this is so good. Oh my God. Look, so the card of patience, I'm so angry. I can't get this to focus. Focus right now, camera. Okay. Patience, be patient. I know that right now things are not exactly where you want them to be. But what I have to let you know, dear Leo, okay, second time a patient card came out for you. In tarot, it came out as the temper temperament card. I always say that wrong, so like whatever. But here it is. We have literally the oracle bringing out the same message to be patient right now. You need to be patient as you weather the chaos. You are going through a storm right now in your life, Leo, but understand that this storm that is in your life where those old institutions are literally bringing down, okay, the, the old paradigm within your life, I want you to understand it's bringing you enlightenment. This enlightenment, <laughs> this enlightenment that you are going through right now, Okay, I just want to say you are definitely stepping into greater stability. I can't even tell you. Okay, you're stepping into greater stability. As you step into greater stability, the whole purpose of this month of April, okay, is for you to really focus on manifesting dreams. And I'm so sorry about the focus, but you are, this is what's happening. 
you are learning how to focus on manifesting your dreams. I can use the I can use the metaphor of that camera, the Sony that I'm recording on right now, <laughs> as a metaphor for your life, Leo. So put on something that lets you know what a badass you are because you are ready to change and pivot your life. You are ready to manifest dreams. There's nothing else that I want to say to you other than to be patient through the chaos, and that it is bringing enlightenment, stability, and greater financial success. So if you want to learn how to awaken in your spiritual life even more, uh, go ahead and check out the first comment or the uh, link in the description to my awakening school. It is simply $27 a month, and I will teach you how to connect to your spirit guides. I will teach you how to attract greater abundance and unconditional love into your life. I also have like meditations for helping you understand how to do mediumship and so much more. So if you want to check it out, I hope that you do. In Awakening School, I am focused on helping people understand how to transform their health, how to transform their wealth, and how to bring in more love. That's what it's all about. I will see you in my very next uh, astrological tarot reading for Leo's Thank you for being here. I love you. Thank you to uh, my gorgeous souls that are hanging out with me here live. I appreciate you guys. And I'm headed into the very next reading. So thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one. I'm trying to think. Leo, Libra, right? I have to 